Located in southwestern New Mexico, Silver City has been home to around 10,000 residents for almost 30 years. The area served as an Apache campsite and then became a Spanish settlement in the 19th century. In the late 19th century, it became a center for mining, and it was given the name Silver City in the 1870s. Some mining in the area continues today, but it is best known as the headquarters of the Gila National Forest. At about 5,900 feet in elevation, it is located in the foothills of the Pinos Altos Range. Every retirement destination requires some trade-offs, and for all of its great advantages, one of Silver City's most conspicuous disadvantages is that it is quite distant from the conveniences of larger cities. The closest city is Las Cruces, which has a population of about 100,000 people. Las Cruces is 112 miles, or about a two-hour drive, away. El Paso, Texas, with a population of about 700,000, is about 181 miles, or a three-hour drive, away. Tucson, Arizona, with a population of about 550,000, is about 200 miles, or a three-hour drive, away and Albuquerque, New Mexico, is about 236 miles or a four-hour drive away. The closest substantial city in Mexico is Ciudad Juarez, just across the border from El Paso. Unfortunately, Ciudad Juarez is not one of Mexico's top destinations, partly due to drug cartel-related violence in the state of Chihuahua. Nevertheless, Ciudad Juarez does have a major international airport, which can be advantageous to those looking for less expensive flights to international destinations. The cost of living in Silver City is refreshingly low. Bestplaces.net estimates Silver City's cost of living to be 20% lower than the national average for the U.S. New Mexico as a whole tends to have a low cost of living, and Silver City is estimated to be 10% less costly than the state average. These estimates seem credible because the median home value in Silver City in 2019 was only $151,000, and the median household income that year was only $33,000. If some residents of Silver City are getting by on that much household income, a retired couple depending mostly or entirely on average size social security checks may also be okay in Silver City. Retirees with even greater means may find that their dollars go surprisingly far. According to citydata.com, as of 2019, at least 34% of Silver City's citizens hold at least a bachelor's degree. The most common occupations in Silver City fall into the categories shown here. A primary reason the educational services percentage is as high as it is, is that Silver City is home to Western New Mexico University. Western New Mexico University enrolls 3,500 students and offers associates, bachelor's, and master's degrees. It has a stabilizing influence on the town's economy and contributes to the culture of the town. Gila Regional Medical Center, Silver City's hospital, is also a key employer in the area. A short drive away in Santa Clara is Fort Bayard Medical Center. Silver City has hot summers and mild winters. The average high in July is 86 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not as hot as it can get in that part of the southwest at lower elevations. The average high in January is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are averages, of course, so if I moved there, I'd have to be prepared for temperatures over 100 degrees in the summer and a few inches of snowfall in the winter. The city averages only about 17 inches of rain per year, so moving to Silver City is a commitment to desert living. One way to cope with the desert heat in the summer is to concentrate outdoor activities in the morning. Silver City is known for its arts and cultural district, which includes around a dozen art galleries. In spite of the town's small size, it is also known as a foodie destination with a surprising number of highly rated restaurants. As implied earlier, Silver City is also a destination for outdoor enthusiasts due to its proximity to the Gila National Forest, the City of Rocks State Park, the Catwalk Recreation Trail, 
and the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. TripAdvisor.com includes a huge collection of photos that tout the natural beauty of the area. Silver City's largest racial group is Hispanic or Latino, Latina, Latinx. So it is one of those rare American towns in which less than half of the population identifies as white or Caucasian. The city's population has remained steady since the 1990s. So these demographic data are unlikely to substantially change in the coming years. For even more details about Silver City, I recommend not only TripAdvisor, but also the NewMexico.org website shown here. The advantages of Silver City that I value most are its affordability and proximity to many natural areas, including the Gila National Forest, Gila Cliff Dwellings, the Catwalk National Recreation Trail, and City of Rocks State Park. While the town is smaller and more remote than I would prefer, the abundant art galleries, outdoor opportunities, local university, and creative restaurants help the town feel less small than it is. While summers in Silver City may be hotter than I'd prefer, there are simple ways to adjust to desert heat, like concentrating activities in the morning. On balance, Silver City seems like an attractive location for retirees who value all that this great town has to offer and who don't mind living far from a large city.